Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM OIT Institutes and uh, today we are discussing about a thing that is listening. Listening guys, again, I always say... Now, yeah, Mr. Mortlay, I think you've been referred by your GP. I so thought you... Listening, again, it is composed of two parts, part A, B and C. So I was discussing, again, Dr. BKM is not renowned for creating question papers. We help the people, the candidates preparing for OIT to understand how to do so if i consider that listening listening part a to be honest listening is very different from reading you guys will think that oh listening listening is different from reading in terms of marks otherwise it's exactly the same listening part a fill in the blanks reading part a fill in the blanks listening part b multiple choice reading part b multiple choice reading part c multiple choice but the number of questions are different if you if See, passing, okay, but perhaps passing marks is almost same. Passing marks, we need to score around 30 to 32. That is our passing marks. Now, please try to understand this then. 30 to 32. Now, if you understand this figure, we have got 24 questions in the part A. Jesus, 24 questions. That means if I do this part well, then only with 8 to 10 questions of part B and C, I can pass. This is the first thing that you should understand if you are preparing for OIT listening. That will make your journey easy. The 24 questions will come from the part A. If you can get 22, 23, 24, that means you have to practice lot of listening part. Second thing, you should know the rules. Whenever you are doing reading, listening, writing, speaking in the part B, again, you will see many videos of Dr. BKM. We will talk about grammar, adverb, and we talk about degrees. These are the three things I always tell you that it is very important for part B and C. The candidates who are my regular followers, they know this is the most important thing. But when it comes to reading part A and listening part A, prepositions. Prepositions are very important in part B and C as well. But in part A, they become the most important thing. Most important. Like what is preposition? Preposition are the words like for. This is my preposition in this. I have to listen to these words very, very carefully if I have to do it. Okay, so this is the word for. Then if I have to do other for, then Especially word is my adverb. I will take care of this word as well. Adverbs. These words are very important because they will speak something about it. Some word is also kind of an adverb. Off word is kind of a preposition. Off word. Then uh, to word is a preposition. So what are preposition? Preposition means <coughs> they tell the positions and they come before the word on the table they are coming before the table pre and they tell the position on the table means the thing is on the table i am going to usa i am going to uk so two means again it is giving the direction i am here for you so i'm telling for you so these are the words to into in after before while all these words are very very important so if i consider these then in this particular, this word for, for, especially is adverb, ly word, of, two words are very important to notice. So let's start the listening and also one more important thing, most important thing, always they will give you 30 seconds to look at the notes. So in those 30 seconds, you have to understand what the topic is and what are the main words. So if I'm doing this, you hear a gastroenterologist, so the topic would be about gastro. Talking to a new patient, Simon Mortley, with a short face, okay. Age 57, so I've got 30 seconds. Referred with a suspected dash, three years ago. Three years ago, suspected means, suspected word means, seems, probably, perhaps, diagnosed with. Means the diagnosis it is not confirmed. So seems, probably, diagnosed, perhaps, these are the words I will look for. 
means when they will say the i am suspected with so he is not sure about it he is suspected with the disease he was suspected with the disease 3 years ago then endoscopy dash clear so there should be some organ something like that that should be clear or organ system that should be clear successfully treated for dash medically so he was treated for this or that so four word is very important that he was treated for that means they are going to talk about a disease condition or an organ so you need to consider all these words that in this disease will come condition will come in this dash would be clear fluid can be clear things can be clear x ray was clear biopsy was clear endoscopy is given there can be a name of the test successfully treated for dash that means they will talk about the past history so there should be a condition in the past so you need to estimate what kind of blank will come surgery for 2 years ago surgery was said there there would be another disease condition or organ will come that surgery for stomach or any condition surgery for uh, for something like uh, you know any any condition Ah, uh, occupational retired. I I just have to fill the occupation. Indigestion, especially after the meals, especially eating food after. But after the meals is given, so again something related to food will come. Feels that he lacks energy. He lacks enthusiasm. He lacks passion. Something like this. So you have to estimate the words. Some dash on exertion. Some dash on exertion. Some tiredness on exertion or breathlessness. common word on exertion we normally say breathlessness this is a very common word so you estimate the words reported loss of sleep loss of enthusiasm loss of passion something like that again no dash to abdomen family history uncle had dash so now you have you have estimated that this blank will come so you understand the topic topic is about gastro patient has a problem suspected condition then he will talk about past medical history then he will talk about current symptoms he will talk and in that in in digestion or in digestion especially dash after meals eating dash means he must be talking about some food eating after especially after eating fish let's see what will come let's see now i will play it so again prepositions will play the most important part in reading part a and listening part prepositions are very important then comes adverbs ly words so grammar how is it important that when you are thinking this this is past 3 years ago that means past indefinite will come referred with the suspected so you have to talk about the past condition 2 years ago past condition uh, successfully treated for in the past then current means current so now he lacks the present indefinite tense is coming so notice all these things let's see what he will talk about let's see okay no Okay. Now, Mr. Mortlake, I think you've been referred by your GP. Mm -hmm. I've got your notes here, but perhaps you can tell me in your own words what seems to be the problem. What's brought you here today? Sure. So perhaps word just used by the doctor, though it is not making a sense over here at the moment. But try to notice all these lovely words and do one listening two times. A part, do one listening three times. B and C part without checking the answer. Don't look at the answer. The problem is that even while we are practicing, we are doing listening, and then we want to check the answer after one round. Why the curiosity is? Oh my God! Did I score ten? Did I score two? Did I score five? Please, please do your listening to learn. Listening part A, listen two times. then check the answer listening part b and c do three times then check the answer this is the most important instruction you will see after one week your listening will start improving only after one week do one listening part a two times don't check the answer then check the answer after two times after one time don't check it and listening part b and c three times then check the you will see the improvement happening in you after one week let's see um Well, it's not the first time I've been to this clinic. I was referred to one of your colleagues about three years ago. I had what I thought was a stomach ulcer, which stomach ulcer, no problem at all. I don't think there should be a problem. I think yes, said stomach ulcer. But let's see. So yeah. 
Holly, um, well, it, it's not the first time I've been to this clinic. I was referred to one of your colleagues about three years ago. I had what I thought was a stomach ulcer. I had. See, when you will listen to speaking three, listening three times, four times, your speaking will improve. I, I thought what I had was a stomach ulcer. I thought, thought means probability. So I think stomach ulcer should come. So suspected word is coming with, I thought what I had was a stomach ulcer. It had been troubling me for some time and my GP suggested I came in for tests. And I had what he called an endoscopy, you know, where they put a tube down your throat and yeah. have a look at your insides. And as part of that, they also did a biopsy to make sure. That is where you start feeling better in the exam. Biopsy. Means we are already expecting most of the times we are medical people. You know that guys. That is why it is so beneficial to take OET rather than any English test for you. We know endoscopy will always be followed by biopsy. Most of the times. Some. Okay. And I had what he called an endoscopy. endoscopy. You know, where they put a tube down your throat and yeah. have a look at your insides. And as part of that, they also did a biopsy to make sure it wasn't something more serious. That's right. And that was clear. Yes, it was. No. See, you learn. And then doctor is saying, and that was clear. So you learn English on the way. But when you do listening only for the fill in the blanks and only listen to it one time just to judge yourself, that is why we are facing problem. We all have to go with an intention to learn. Do one listening two to three times. Also learn speaking with it. So endos endoscopy, the second blank is uh, so second blank is biopsy. That we did even without listening. Okay. N now the next question is successfully treated for surgery for two for preposition. So treatment and surgery for what? Fortunately, I actually had a condition called helicobacter pylori and I went to helico helico Bacter pylori. Done. Let's go ahead. Course of tablets for that. All right. Um, it was cleared up in no time. Very straightforward. But it was cleared up in no time. It was cleared up in no time. That means it got treated in no time. Means very quickly. It got cleared up in no time. Halton did say that I needed to be alert for any further symptoms. Mm -hmm. You know, that there's a greater risk of cancer developing after you've had that and that I should come straight back if I had any problems. Oh, indeed. And have you had any other medical problems since then? Well, a couple of years back, I had a hernia operation. That was also very... Hernia. Hernia operation. Couple of years. Couple always means two. Couple always means two. Done. Okay. Straight forward. I had done just after I retired. I expect it was actually an occupational injury of some kind because quite a few of my colleagues have had similar problems. Okay. I was a police officer for most of my work. Retired police officer. So you just do the listening with ease. Even if by chance listening is difficult, do it two times. Actually, let's go further. In life, other than that, I keep relatively fit. I'm not taking any medication for anything. I've been well until just recently. Okay. So what's happened to change that? Well, I've started to suffer from indigestion, particularly after lunch or dinner. I get... After lunch or dinner, as particularly L-Y word. See, listen the importance of these words. Two years ago, always noticed these word. Couple of years, three years ago, he said. Then biopsy was clear. Then this word, see, especially you will see particularly. So you learn these things. Huh. Until just recently. Okay. So what happened to change that? Well, I've started to suffer from indigestion, particularly after lunch or dinner. I get heartburn. You know, pain just here. I see. And are there any other symptoms? Well, I've also...
इनडाइजेशन एस्पेशली आफ्टर लंच और आफ्टर मील्स बट या ही ऑल्सो सेड हार्ट बंस सो दैट्स कन्फ्यूजिंग मी टू बी ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज मील्स वर्ड कवर बोथ लंच एंड डिनर सी दैट इज वट दे आर ट्राइंग टू से इन डेशन एस्पेशली हार्ट बंस सो दैट इज वाई आई एम चेंजिंग दिस थिंग्स आंसर कैन बी रॉन्ग बट वट कैन आई डू आई कॉन्ट हेल्प इट आफ्टर डिनर देन आई वुड हैव रिटर्न आफ्टर लंच बट आफ्टर लंच एंड आफ्टर डिनर मीन्स आफ्टर मील्स then he said as then i try to understand the fill in the blanks as well my fill in the blank is saying indigestion especially hard ones after meals that is what i think but again if i read the complete sentence he said particularly after lunch or dinner so after lunch should be a better answer but again he has confused me because if it's about proper english then this should be my answer if proper english because after meals mean both lunch and dinner so proper answer should be this if he has not given this i would be little surprised let's try again and listen to it particularly after lunch or dinner i get heartburn you know pain just here i say and are there any other symptoms well i've also found myself running out of energy i'm a keen gardener and i'll be digging or whatever and see that i already told you should be the word energy see this is suddenly i feel this need to take a rest i mean that's not like me i so this is what i am saying he nothing is difficult especially in oit listening it's just what we believe we start with that way and when you know we don't give energy then obviously everything is difficult in this world so it's about giving energy and uh, you know finding the right answers i can make it larger yeah little shorter yeah this going fine now much better okay so feels he lacks energy obviously what else can energy enthusiasm but this is where you learn you want to learn spelling suppose if by chance enthusiasm words come it's a common english word so when you will do lot of listening part a listening part b and c you don't have to do too much listening part a do as many as you can but again at least two times three times is better so again he lacks energy let's go forward want to finish a job once i've started it you know being gardener and i'll be digging or whatever and suddenly i feel a need to take a rest i mean that's not like me i usually want to finish a job once i've started it you know but if i try to push myself too much i start to get breathless and that's a bit worrying to be honest. breathless again that is why oit is for the medical professionals and should be taught only by the medical professionals see how cool i say are you aware of your weight changing at all not really but what i have noticed is that i just don't seem to have such a good appetite anymore right i mean that's partly being retired i'm sure but i do keep pretty active it's just that i don't fancy the sort of big meals i used to eat mm -hmm. i start to feel sick if i have too much and are there any other pains or physical symptoms not really i've been looking out for things like my stomach swelling up because i know that might be a symptom of something mm -hmm. but to be honest i can't say i've ever had that So what do you think might be the problem? Well the thing is my uncle that's my mum's brother he that is the only word i have missed maybe i didn't get the blank no pain to abdomen but it's not right no dash to abdomen no swelling to abdomen or no pain these are the two words i could not realize but this is where you can learn let's listen to it one time again why are you taking it to your ego all the time or to judge yourself don't judge yourself just try and do it yourself rather than looking at the answer so try and do let's try and do looks like my stomach swelling up you don't have such a good appetite anymore right i mean that's partly being retired i'm see of your weight changing at all loss means that he is not having so let's see not really but what i have noticed is that i just don't seem to have such a good appetite anymore right i mean that's partly being retired i'm sure but i do keep pretty active It's just that I don't 
Fancy the sort of big meals I used to eat. Mm -hmm. I start to feel sick if I have too much. No big meals to abdomen is not making sense. Otherwise, big meals I would have tried. Then the other word also is not fitting in. And are there any other pains or physical symptoms? Not really. I've been looking out for things like my stomach swelling up because I know that might be a symptom of something. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I can't say I've ever had that. So what? No swelling is the word I think should come. Pain also is good, but I'm taking the chance to be swelling. Otherwise, I was taking pain, but yeah, no swelling. In abdomen should have been the better word, but yeah, can't help it. One blank I can afford to be wrong in out of 12. But please, the main thing, if anybody is not passing, you know, it is thing spelling, my dear, spelling. Spelling, that's it. Spellings. You think might be the problem? Well... The thing is, my uncle, that's my mum's brother, he had to have a gastrectomy. And I remember this is... Now, this is challenging for me. Gastrectomy. This, I'm taking this. Can't help it. Okay, then you have to learn the spellings. It all started. I mean, the symptoms I've described. And, well, I think these things can run in families, can't they? Well, they can. Anyway, the real reason that I want to get checked out is because I've got a big trip coming up. The wife and I have booked tickets on a cruise to Antarctica. I mean, it's the trip of a lifetime. We're really excited about it, but I need to make sure I'm well. Okay. Well, I understand your concern. So what I'm... According to OIT, this spelling, you might not be deducted marks for if by chance you don't do wrong with Antarctica. It's the name of a place, can be wrong. Rest the spelling. Now we will see the answers. How many correct we have done. Again, do it two times. But yeah, I don't have, I am not uh, waiting for anything because I feel that all should be correct except one or two. But yeah, majorly I feel should be correct. Yeah, so I will do that. Just a second. Yeah, stomach ulcer, good. Helicobacter pylori, so check the spelling as well. Uh, pylori, yeah. Biopsy was fine. Hernia was fine. Police officer was fine. Heartburn, see. Now you can learn these things. Heartburn, better blank because after meals means they, that is where by chance people say, sir, I, I, I can tell you, sir, my mark should be 24 out of 24 in listening party. No, man. Please learn. Please learn. After meals means after lunch and after dinner. Breathlessness, appetite, swelling. See, pain versus swelling. I said swelling. Because they spoke something and then I changed my answer. That because, because he was saying there is no pain. But then he said, then I keep on checking my abdomen for swelling. So abdomen was, was connected to swelling. That is why I gave importance to swelling. Because in abdomen, he was checking the swelling. Gastrectomy and type. Gastrectomy spelling, all good. Antarctica, chalo, that does not matter. But Antarctica, I don't know the spelling. But again, you will get full marks because it's the name of the place. So, 12 out of 12. That is what we need to score. Means we want around, and this listening was not chosen by me. You all know this listening you told me to do. I just focused on my grammar, on my grammar, adverbs, and the major thing was preposition. This is how you do it, and I have recorded this session. And uh, I will also take your questions, of course. Thank you very much.